What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and today's video is sponsored by Warframe as we take a look at the Duveri Paradox, the biggest and most ambitious expansion to date, adding a brand new roguelike, time looping, massive open world adventure into Warframe. Now, with the release of this, of course, it is free to everyone that has the game. Even if you've never played Warframe before, now is obviously a fantastic time to jump on in and experience the new content. So whether you're playing on PC, Xbox, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, you'll still be able to jump in and check this on out. And on top of that, I have a promo code for y'all that you can redeem over at Warframe.com to get a free starter bundle, including affinity and resource boosters, as well as an exclusive in-game poster. So today we're going to be jumping in and checking out some of this new content. It's been a bit since I've played Warframe, uh, but we have covered it on the channel. This is my my black swordsman. As you can see, we, we tried to replicate guts way back in the day. I think we did a pretty good job with it. It was it was actually, I mean, it works pretty well. It's definitely more of a, a, a thematic playstyle than a uh, effective one, but it, it worked out pretty well. We got, you know, the cape, we had a shotgun for close range and the throwing knives and the big greatsword. Uh, but either way, Let's jump on in to check out some of this new content, shall we? This is completely different from anything else I've ever experienced in Warframe before. Why not? It's a space dragon. I'm guessing this is the new mount that we get. I know we can customize this too, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit before I'm able to do that. What the hell? That thing looks crazy. Hello, little bunny friend. Let's follow this. Oh, here we go. All right, all right. Now we're probably getting to the roguelike element. I'll probably pick a Warframe and go from there. Right now, you're thinking. Is this real? Or some fevered dream? I'm wondering why the hell this all feels so damn familiar. Emotions, they guide where others fail. The king's spiral takes away time, experience. Did someone make a new friend? Trying to make me jealous, are you? I'll find him soon enough. I'm guessing this is the new tutorial that'll explain everything while we're playing as this dude. So what am I doing here, Teshin? A joyride? You are seeking a paradox. You'll need more than her hand and my blades to survive above. Hmm. Here they come. We get a tutorial on movement and combat with the Warframes themselves as well, so they've set this up to be like super beginner friendly. Whether you're brand new to the franchise or whatever the case is, it looks like you're just jumping on in and they're teaching you everything you need to know. What do we got here? Oh, some goodies. 
So here we have our decrees, and this is the standard roguelike element where we are going to pick up various upgrades that will persist for this particular run. And then we also have intrinsics, which are permanent bonuses, but we're not going to be able to touch on those just yet. We will take a look at those a little bit later. Maybe you'll do a better job. See what's amiss. So it looks like the gameplay loop is playing as our created guy on the surface, and then we jump back into the Undercroft to complete an objective as the Warframe. So it's pretty interesting. Just going back and forth and then earning constant rewards depending on what you're accomplishing. Thank you. Just magnetized them all. <laughs> yeah, y'all shouldn't walk into that. That was, that was pretty funny. Rare decree. Let's so see. everything was met Ooh. with anger, and anger was his um, undoing. I mean, I already got that cold aura, so that synergizing with shattering frost sounds pretty insane. Okay, now, can I check those? Everybody, enemies are affected by cold status, slowing them. Yeah, so basically I just have like a permanent 160% damage, I guess. Seems kind of busted, not gonna lie. Up in the air, Skyhorse. Flying over to defeat the Dex. See if we can get the thingy completely full and do this in one clean go. Which I think we're close. Yeah, so I think that, yeah, that glow is completely filled. All we have to do is get to E in the space of the game. Magnetize! I don't think I ever played Mag in the base game, but like, honestly, these abilities are insane. I'm just like, ah, we're gonna just kill everything. Deal with those Dax, and see what your friend wants. I haven't really felt that pressured until now, but god, these dudes are aggressive, and I do not have enough of this new flame kit for the damage I need to fight them. Where is he? Don't you worry. Justice comes swiftly in my kingdom! Damn, dude's health just got deleted. <laughs> what is happening, dude? Just went Monty Python on his ass. Oh, 
I just take this thing over? Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. I am the space dragon now. Sky dragon versus sky dragon. Now, I know we've been doing a lot of highlights, but I obviously don't want to spoil the very end of the story. But after you finish it up, you can either hop back over and do your regular Warframe stuff, or of course, you can stay and continue to subdue the spiral, which is what we're going to be doing. With the main campaign done, though, it looks like things have opened up a bit. So first thing I want to check out are the intrinsics. So from what I understand, these are going to be permanent bonuses going forward. Each decree you acquire is 10% damaged. Uh, decree selections offer one additional option. That's obviously huge. Uh, grant two additional weapon choices in the Teshin's Cave. Uh, long term, that sounds pretty good, but let's also do Endurance. 25 max health, and each decree is 10 damage. Uh, restorative boosts movement speed. Eh. It's like a decree fully restores health and energy. That's going to be awesome from just a progression standpoint, so we'll pick that up. I did want that, but I'm running out of juice, and I have 11 intrinsics left, so. But with getting through all of that, we actually have three new modes that now open up to us. We have the Duvuri Experience, the Lone Story, and the Circuit. So the Duvuri Experience is going to be everything we just did, just without the narrative. Uh, the Lone Story is going to be strictly going through the objectives. So that's mainly for people trying to bang out those daily quests. And then, of course, we have the Circuit which is going to focus only on the Warframe play and going through those various roguelike missions, getting upgrades. And you're able to do all of this with other people. So we definitely have a lot of expansion, even though we are done and getting past the, uh, the narrative content. All right, all right. And is that Misa Prime right there? Yes, I already know what I'm picking. Let's go. Oh, man, so many enemies. Burr. This is the Warframe I remember. Endless barrage of bullets and cowboy stunts. Life support will be scarce. Do not waste it. It really never does get old. Anybody else? <laughs> These classes. Uh, never, never fails to crack me up at just how wild it gets. I'm really curious to see how the circuit works, though. Do we just pick a frame and jump in? Looks like we do. Uh, well, I already did a bunch of mags. So I don't want to do mag again. Um, let's do let's do Rhino. Ooh, so this was this is for a week. Rewards reset in four days. That's cool. And I get that, and then that, and that. oh, that's interesting. Steel path. Okay, so it looks like we pick a frame we want to unlock stuff for. But then we still choose a particular frame to play with uh, for the roguelike aspect. Uh, it sounds more like a support. And I did Misa, so 
I guess we're gonna pull out Mag Prime. I mean, Mag was doing well earlier, and this is just Mag, but super powered. They call me Melee Mag. Because after I pull you all in, it's melee time. I wonder if melee mag's actually a build, just because of the potential of, of using pull, which is relatively cheap. You just yank everything in, and then immediately slice and dice it all into oblivion. Honestly, I think I need more stuff to kill. Like, I know we're early in our ways, but... Like, I want to vacuum, like, 40 enemies up and then just cut them all down at the same time. But that is going to wrap up our time with the Duvuri Paradox. Once again, big thanks to the folks over at Warframe for sponsoring the video. And as somebody that got into this game and only played a little bit of it, I really got to give it up to him because this is way more digestible and way more approachable than the base game itself. Uh, if you've ever looked at Warframe and just kind of felt overwhelmed by how much there is going on, this is definitely the stepping stone to get you into the franchise. But either way, we're going to wrap things on up here. So thanks so much for coming on out and checking out the video. Thanks again to the devs for sponsoring the video. And as a reminder, make sure to check out that link in the description so you can redeem a free starter bundle that includes affinity and resource boosters, as well as an exclusive in-game poster. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.